Hey, good morning, church family. Good morning to you. How are you? Are you blessed? Are you healed? Are you free? Are you saved? Oh, my <laughs> brothers and sisters, I know you're saved. Listen in this Amen. morning uh, to the 714 this morning. Yeah. And I just want to thank, take this opportunity to thank our God for this opportunity Amen. to share His Word. It's right. It's His Word. With you. That's right. Amen. Thank our pastor for Amen. assigning us to this position, this yes, job, and I yeah. just say it's not like a job; it's our pleasure. Amen. And uh, we we love doing it. Yeah, we do. Thanking God for His Word and His promises are yeah. Amen. Yes, they're yes and Amen. Amen. And I want you to know that we are here for you. Yes. Amen. Amen. This isn't about this isn't the Stephen Deanna show. Right. This is all about God. Amen. 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 So what do you have for us this morning there, Deanna? I, this morning I just want to talk about stunted growth. Oh. Not your physical growth. You know coffee your... can stunt your growth. <laughs> oh, God, really. Not your physical oh. growth, but your spiritual growth. And it can be it can be held back or stunted um, if we're not careful with our walk with God, how we talk. Amen. Um, how we treat others is a biggie, I think, with God. Oh, yes. Um, the devil is uh, is aggressive. He's hostile. And he will do anything, people of God, to get you... Off track. Off track, <laughs> hold you back, Come on. and keep you from growing. Absolutely. In that's, the Lord. That's in his, the Lord. That's his job. That's his plan. That's right. Yes. And you need to be aware of that. You can be... You could be doing something very innocent and realize, oh, I'm not growing. I'm not I'm not in the Word like I should be. I'm not praying. I'm not um, chasing after God like I should be in in because of distractions. Absolutely. Yeah. And, and, and Satan, he is a, he, he's, a, he's one who strategically uh, will do that. Yes. Will put, give you uh, obstacles in your way. That's right. Distractions mm -hmm. in your way. And he, you should be able to discern... Right? That's absolutely discernment. You need to discern. Yes. You need to discern what's of God and what's of the enemy. And if you realize, hey, I'm I'm being distracted my time with God or yes. then you need to then you need to really step back and correct that. Do absolutely. something about absolutely. that. Absolutely. Our text this morning is uh from first Peter uh, uh chapter five, verse eight. And it goes something like this. Yeah. Be sober, be aware. Be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, walks about like a lion, a roaring lion, yeah. seeking whom he may devour. And I wanted to just say something about that uh, right there. He, he walks about like a roaring lion. He is not a lion, folks. All right. Jesus is the lion. All right. Yeah. He, he walks around like a lion. He's an imposter. Right. We have, to, we have to think of him like that. I like to think of him as a junkyard dog yeah, with, with no, no teeth. teeth. <laughs> <laughs> so I can do is gum yum. yum. <laughs> so, but that's but he he's all the time looking. He says here that he is seeking whom he may devour. devour. Yes. Get you, uh, get you all, your eyes off of Christ. Get your eyes off of God. Yeah. Get your eyes out. Of, you know, we're supposed to what keep our nose in the book, right? Yeah. Your knees bent to heaven. Oh man! But see. In your body, you. in the house of God. Amen. If he, he can distract you from any on. of those three things, yes. guess what, people of God? Oh, he's... Yeah. Yeah. He, <laughs> I mean, his plan is working. And That's we, right. And uh, we just cannot have that, can we? No. Here's some um, some enemies that will hinder your growth. Okay, first of all... First of all, the devil. All right, That's we're starting with him. Yeah. That's right. The world. The things of this world. Yep, the things of this world. And your... Flesh, yeah, your flesh. Yeah, talks about the lust of the flesh and the and the and the yep. pride of life. That's right. Yep. That's and the right. word of God has is 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 warned us of those Absolutely. things in the Bible. So from from yep. from, uh, from Jesus gave us all kinds of warning in here to, yep. about Satan and told us, hey, what are we supposed to do when he comes and knocking? Resist. Say that again. Resist. Come on, tell him again. Resist. Mm. Resist the devil, and that's in the next verse. But first, I just wanted to say. You know, the devil or the enemy, well, he'll find your weak areas. Oh. Man. And if he can find them when, um, and you're weak in those areas, guess what? He's going to come in and... Attack. Yeah, and he attack. He comes in and attack, I, yes. I, 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 uh, we, we all have seen uh, 
like a like the wild kingdoms or whatever you know, you know what the lions and the lioness will do is when she goes out on a hunt mm -hmm. she goes she's looking for the weakest yeah she's looking for the young ones the ones that are unguarded unguarded not and not really being watchful mm, come on yeah that's good not being watchful yeah <laughs> not being sober yeah. I'm not talking about alcohol type stuff. I'm talking about sober, keeping your mind fixed on Christ yeah. and uh, be sober minded. That's right. See, the enemy does this to get you to bow down to him oh. and to your circumstances. Say that again, love. To bow down. He wants yeah. you to bow down to him. He wants you him. to bow down to him or your circumstances. Right. And when we bow to our circumstances, come on. We're actually bowing to him, people of God. Absolutely. Because your <laughs> right, your circumstances That's don't good. define you. They don't That's right. they shouldn't control you, but you should control your circumstances yes. by the word of God yes. and speaking mm. it with your mouth. Yes. Amen. Yeah. Speaking it. Yes. Amen. Amen. Yep. Didn't I say yesterday that Jesus used his word to resist the devil? We do. We have to do the same. We have to use the word even over our negative circumstances. Yes. If you're in financial trouble, guess what? Use the word of God, yes. people of God. Yes, hallelujah. Do you know there's more scriptures on finances than anything? Wow. There is. That's awesome. Look them up. If you're having financial trouble, but first of all, you need to be a tither. Oh, yeah. You know what? That's where the enemy will steal, too. Oh, He'll come yeah. to steal, kill, and destroy in that area. If you're not tithing, he, you give him perfect, you give him all access. Wow. Oh, all man. access. That's good, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Amen. So just learn to resist him in every area. Do your part. Be a doer of the word, yes. not a hearer only. Mm -hmm. Amen. You know, and resist him. And, and it's in that um, verse right there. It says, can you read that, Steve, verse 9? Resist him steadfast yes. in faith. Knowing that the same sufferings are experienced by your brotherhood in the world. You're not you're not alone in this thing, folks. Amen? Yes, you're not. So just resist in all those areas when he comes at you. Recognize it. Recognize yes. it. Don't be off-guarded or distracted, people of God. Mm -hmm. Recognize it. Amen. And then I, I think I put together here, um, oh yeah, be clothed with the full, the full armor of God and armed. Do you know what armed means? With the word of God. Yes. That's your arm. That is your that, ammunition. Your this is your sword, your ammunition to yes. fight back, Amen. to resist. Amen. And to Amen. keep moving forward in the things of God. Um, there's a, there's three things uh, that I wanted you guys, that this is how you can overcome to yes. any circumstances. She's gonna tell yep. you, yes. How to resist the devil is number one is believe in God. That's in here, um, Hebrews 11. Let me see. I got it. I thought I hit here. It 11 is. verse uh, 6. 11 verse 6. And that says this. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he who comes to God must believe that he is and that yes. he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek, seek him. him. Hallelujah. And the next one is um, 1 John. People of God, you can go there to 1 John. And Chapter that is, 3, 24. Yeah, 3, 24, and it says this. Now, he who keeps his commandments abides in him, and he, and he in him. And by this we know that he abides in us by the spirit whom he has given us. Amen. So abide in him. We talked a little bit about that yesterday. Yes, we did. Was. Yes. 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 And we then did. The, the third one, this is how you can fight the enemy. Believe, obey. And, and the third worship. one is worship. And that is in John... Let me go to John. Let's see here. You know the song. This is how I, I fight my battles. battles. I can't sing, okay, but that's I know. Cool. That was very nice, though. Was it? Oh, thank you, sweetheart. We can, we can, <laughs> we can go into battle with <laughs> yes. worship. Yes, yes, we can. Um, let's see here. That ain't the right scripture. Row, row. I don't have... When I when I think about worship and, and going into battle with worship, I think of uh, it was Jehoshaphat who sent who sent the worshippers first, yes, and then the army. Yeah. Uh, when the worship was when they were worshiping God, God acted on their worship. Okay, here it is. I got it. Oh, she got it now. <laughs> Amen. I got. It. I found it. People of God. God is spirit, and those who worship Him must worship in spirit and, and in, in truth. truth. Amen. Those are how you're going to fight those things, yes. the devil. To resist, that's how you resist him. Amen. Amen.
I see you have a, a reading assignment for yes. our, for our people of God. Cause I, yeah, because you guys have the victory. Oh, I man. have the victory. Steve has the victory. Oh, yeah. We all have the victory if, yeah. if, yeah. Oh. if we believe Him, obey Him, yes. and worship Him. Amen. Amen. So here's, this, a, here's a reading assignment for you. Uh, if you get if you got some time to put your nose in the book, amen. <laughs> please please make time. All right. This is in John chapter seventeen, and it's going to be verse four through twenty six. Twenty six. I'm sorry. And that is what we have for you today. Now, yes. Father, in the name of Jesus, yes. I pray for each person out there today, yes. uh, listening in, uh, Father God, that they they uh, heard the word. Yes, amen. They obey the word. Yes. Mm. That not only that, but they believe it and receive it. God. That's right. And and it, it, it and does they not worship you. Yes, it does not return to you, you void God, but your word accomplishes that which, which you have sent. sent it. Amen. In Jesus' name. name. Amen. Amen. Now we shall see you tomorrow morning. Yes. We love you. We love you. Peace. Peace.